Welp, if you live in the Northeast and were out flying the clear blue skies this past weekend, I'm sure you experienced quite a bit of turbulence and wind shear. Here's a quick snap from my flight. As you can see here, I was uh, 7,500 feet dealing with a 56 knot wind. And of course, down at ground level, it was near, uh, near zero. So stay with me as I rate all of Saturday's landings at my home base here in Old Bridge, New Jersey. All right, let's get to it. So two items I want to call your attention to. One is the timestamp in the upper right. It's 1132 a.m. And the winds in the lower center portion of the screen. Winds are 230 at 6. Old Bridge traffic, Skyhawk 38 November turning right or turning final, runway 24 Old Bridge. Well, I'm not going to give you my running commentary through all of these landings, but the winds were very dynamic on uh, Saturday and Sunday. Old Bridge traffic, Piper Cruiser 91, Mike, final 24 Old Bridge. Now, I want to call your attention to this line of trees on the pilot's left side, which run the entire length of the runway. And when the winds are just right, it can create a lot of havoc for new pilots and even experienced pilots. Uh, so for that reason, a lot of the flight school students will hightail it down to Ocean County Airport and do their practice maneuvers and their takeoffs and landings down there. Over traffic, so I'm making base off for only 24 over traffic. Overtraff Skyhawk is turning base of final 2-4 overage. Auto traffic, uh, it feels like we got a flat tire.
Which has the turning in the one and a half mile final of GPS T4 over. And Oldridge traffic class air joint is downwind. Runway 24, right pattern, Oldridge. Over traffic, experimental short final, 2-4, over. Over traffic, shall we get turning final, runway 2-4, over. Skyhawks, turn and final 2 4 at Oldbridge. Correction, Cherokee, turn and final 2 4 at Oldbridge. Oldbridge traffic, weapon ends the final 2 4. Another bumpy this way. Yeah, a little bit of shear coming off the trees, by the way. <laughs> 